September is Recovery Month, recovery from addiction and substance abuse. National Recovery Month is incredibly important. It really brings both awareness and education to the various programs and services that are available to help someone who's battling addiction. I think in addition, it also gives a great chance to showcase the achievements and accomplishments of, of an individual who is battling recovery and, and being successful in their recovery. So something like National Recovery Month, I think it really does shine a, a really good spotlight on the programs and services that are available and it really serves as a reminder to let people know that helps out there for them. Just like any other mental illness, addiction is a disease. One of the things too we want to do is remind people that addiction is a disease and it really should be treated just like any other disease. So we want, definitely want to break down those barriers and kind of erase that stigma of addiction. Dr. Jamie Marriage has spent the past 18 years in recovery. But I also see that um, and this is a big thing I teach, that we're all in recovery from something and recovery is an ongoing process. So for instance, I identify that food was probably my first addiction when I was a young kid, self-injury as, as a way to, to cope with some traumatic stress that was going on. And Moving to college, access to alcohol was a lot easier for marriage. When a lot of the forces of my addiction like the food, the self-injury, I think overachieving is also a way. I, I had some addictive tendencies. As soon as I got to college and found alcohol, and I had already been dabbling with some pills here and there, it was just, um, I, I, I found something immediately that helped me take the burden of feeling away. Feeling numb is what a lot of people try to go for. Each September to align with National Recovery Month, Cadenzi Erie holds a race at Presque Isle to raise funds for recovery efforts. This year, due to COVID-19, they couldn't have it. I think it really serves as a great way to help a lot of people who maybe who aren't battling addiction or who don't know, it kind of gives them that understanding. It lets them know that, you know, one out of every four people are touched by addiction in some way. So it's something that definitely deserves attention. Addiction can affect anyone. I tend to have this picture of an addict alcoholic as somebody who was like the stoner, the dropout, the burnout in their high school class. And yeah, I always say when I speak that, yeah, more valedictorians probably have an issue with addiction than, than you think. But it doesn't have to be that way. I would first tell people you're worthy of having your story heard, period. A lot of times people suffer alone and I think that if we reach out and we let somebody know that we're there for them, that can make all the difference. Emma Rose Lewis, your